Guys, the title of the video is probably what you, I'm waffling already. It's been so long. It's been so long. I can't. So the title of the video is probably thinking why is is you probably thinking why I haven't been posting. That's it. But that's not the case, bro. That's not the case, bro. I'm gonna be so honest. The reason I haven't actually been posting is because I'm being lazy. Well, not being. I was being lazy. I was just. I don't know, man. I was just not on it. I was just not on it. It was the longest in the past. How many ever years I've been doing YouTube, it was the longest that I haven't posted. Like, two months. Because the last time I posted was end of June or start of July. It was around that. But that was the longest, like, I've never posted it. But I'm back. And I'm better. I'm more than better. I'm ready, bro. Guys, you know, it sounds so weird to say I'm having a baby. Like, I'm having a child. Like, my mind. Not like, oh, I've got a little cousin or niece or nephew. Mine. Mine, I'm the dad, the girlfriend's the mum, and it's ours. Do you know how mad that is? But guys, basically, in the video, I'm going to be working out, yeah, and I'm going to be talking about it, like, throughout the sets and so on, because I don't want to just stand there and talk and so on, and I'm going to the gym anyway now. It's Monday the 6th, 16th, and I told myself I need to start posting again. I've got to, I'm going to try to just be consistent. Vlogs, they're not just going to be in the gym. But yeah, I'm not going to chat too much. But I want to talk and explain everything through the workout. During the middle of the sets, reps. Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's a new journey. It's a new start. And I'm ready. Let's do this. But yeah, I'm going to the gym now. Guys, it's just, it's just crazy. Like, fam, it's just mad. Like, I never, not I never thought this would happen. I know it was, it was always going to happen, innit? But it's who it's with. I'm so happy it's with her. Like, if it was with anyone else, obviously that should be the case. You shouldn't want it to be with anyone else. But I'm just saying that if it was anyone else and it was like, oh, I couldn't handle it. Like, I don't know why I would do any. Because, fam, she's the goop. Like, she's amazing, isn't it? I can trust her with everything. Like, I don't even need to worry. I'm not stressed. Do you get what I'm saying? She's not stressed either, bro. That's how it should be, bro. We're not married yet, anyway. We're going to get married soon. Don't worry. Even that, you're going to get a whole video, whole vlog, whole everything on it. But yeah, guys, basically, I'm going to work out. I don't know if I said it already because I'm excited, do I'm going to work out and in between sets, I'm going to talk to you guys through the whole story and everything. I'm not just going to stand here and talk because it would be boring. Do you get what I'm saying? But yeah, working on my back today. Going to start off with deadlifts and throughout the sets, I'm going to chat. Bear rubbish, bear stupidness. Make sure that comes subscribe. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna be a dad. Let's go. It's easy. Let's go. I don't know why I did six reps at the start, man. It was so hard. Seriously. I should have done three, three, and three. I'm going to try to do one more set of three. But then six. 
Yeah. Caught up to me. Like, seriously. Man. I thought I was hard. I was gonna do six, three sets of six. But, yeah, bro. Anyways, let me go for the last set. Just three, come on. Let's go. We're strong. We're strong. It doesn't matter if I started. We're strong. Come on. Guys, I can talk now and I can tell you about how I found out and how it all went. But first, let's appreciate the deadlifts. Because I haven't deadlifted in like, um, what's it called? For ages. That was my first like session. That was my first session for ages. And I did 160 for a few reps. It's not that deep, but it's not that bad. Do you get what I'm saying? And I have a tracksuit on because I've been thinking I need to stay more warm when I'm doing exercise because I get cold. And another thing is I look in the mirror too much. So I need to just cover my whole self up and just train. I'll do a physique reveal suit, not yet, but suit. But yeah, that's one thing. I need to just train. I need to stop looking in the mirror and doing bare foodishness. Do you get what I'm saying? But yeah, man, let's go. thing I'm gonna say yeah is that I knew I knew straight away in like I just knew I don't when whenever you have a child or whatever yeah you'll just know you get you get that feeling in it like like you just knew it happened do you get what I'm saying and then so it happened in April and then for the two weeks before I actually found out I was shook because when I say I was shook I wasn't shook I was more that scared because I knew yeah it's calm she's pregnant I'm gonna be a dad, blah blah blah. Like when I even left the house, I just knew that. I just knew straight away. I knew, and then um, yeah. Wait, I need. I can't even concentrate. I'm trying to think, but I can't think. So basically, yeah, I found out two weeks after that it happened to me. So, yeah, I, w I didn't record it there because someone was staring at me as well. I know what I'm saying. Anyway. Anyways, now, um, yeah, so I found out. No, 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 let me go back. I knew straight away in. So because I knew, yeah, for the two weeks building up until I found out, I was shook. I, okay, calm. When I say shook, I don't mean shook as in like, I was shook that all oh, my days are done, I'm stressed, I'm this, I'm that. But no, I wasn't shook like that. I was more shook in terms of like, what, like, is it happening or is it not? You see, and you're just stressed and worried because, not worried, you're just like, you don't know if it's true or not. I would have rather found out straight away if it's true and I would have been fine, or if it's not, then calm. Do you get what I'm saying? But because it's like you're on the cliff waiting, like, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know. Fam. I had headaches every day. I was just stressing. I was thinking, I need to get on it. I'm gonna work hard. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna tell everyone. And the thing is, yeah, I was happy straight away, innit? Even from like all the stressing and stuff I was doing, I was still happy at the same time. Cause I knew like it's with her. I'm not worried. It's not like we're gonna go against each other. We're gonna argue. No, we're together. You get what I'm saying? We're one. Yeah, people have relationships, good ones and blah, blah, blah. 
but me and her we're strong innit like I'm not even worried do you get what I'm saying like some people like oh but I like this girl but I don't know if she's the one for for mother material or the, that stupidness when people chat like that but my thing is I don't even worry about that because she, we're good do you get what I'm saying I don't need to worry about that because she's good we're Christians she prays we pray we go to church all of that stuff do you get what I'm saying it's too low Hopefully this sounds better. But yeah, um, where was I? Yeah, we go to church. I'm not worried, innit? And I know her, I've known her for five years. Do you get what I'm saying? We stopped, fam, it's a long story how we are together and having a child. But put it like this, we've been best friends. We wasn't together at the start, but then now we're together. Everyone thought we was together. We knew we liked each other, but we just wasn't with each other. There was no reason why. I feel like, I feel like it happened the right way. I feel like if we, if we, because mate, I messaged her first. Da, 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 da. If we just rushed into it and I moved her and then, oh yeah, we're together. We're not. We don't know each other, innit? Yeah, we're with each other and we're gonna get to know each other. But I feel, I feel like a lot of people rush into relationships and then when they really find out who the person is, it never clicks because they like rushed into it and then they're just like, oh, this ain't the one. I thought it was. But no, you can't say you thought it was. You rushed into it. And a big part of that is people just want it for. The name, yeah, I've got a boyfriend, or yeah, I'm married, or da, 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 but they don't really like each other. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like that's a big thing, me personally. Like, I feel like if you don't have some sort of a friendship in your relationship, it will never work. If you can't do everything with them and tell them everything, then it will never work. So you get what I'm saying? Like, fam, me personally, yeah, you get people in relationships that's more excited to tell their, say, friends' news than their actual partner or their wife or husband or whatever. Like, say something good happened, they have their friend for that. Or say something bad happened, they have their friend for that. But me personally, there's no one else I'll go to. I'm telling her everything. You get what I'm saying? Even if it's good, if it's bad, if she's gonna cuss me, get on to me, I'll still tell her. I don't care. Obviously, there's still some privacy that I'm gonna keep, so I'm not gonna go too much into detail. But yeah, man, what do you call it? Yeah, then we, we were both stressing. I think we both knew, innit? We, we knew, I knew, I had that feeling in me, I knew. Anyways, now we've got the test two weeks later. I said, do it, man, do it, because I couldn't take it anymore. My head was going to explode. I wanted to know, do you get what I'm saying? And it was more of I wanted to know, because yes, I'm excited now, I want to know. If it's not, then yeah, I'll be annoyed, but it's fine, it's not the end of the world, we can still have one. But if it is the case, fam, I can't wait, do you get what I'm saying? So she did the test now, yeah, and um, she sent me a picture. And now I knew that the picture was the test, but I had to click on the picture to open it. Do you get what I'm saying? So, and I was working because I worked with kids. So I was sitting around the table with kids reading books. In it. I took out my phone now and I saw it and I was like, should I open it now or wait? And I was like, forget this, I can't wait. And clicked it. It was clear blue, so it said pregnant in it. So I looked, it said pregnant. The two other tests had the lights. And I looked, I was like, then I looked and I started smiling in it. And I was like, yes. I was like, yes, in it, because from that moment on, I was happy. It's with her. I wanted it to be with her, and we, we, I was happy. Obviously, she's scared because she's the girl. It's different. She's going to be pregnant. I'm not pregnant, but we're still. we it's one. we fam. You go. I'm saying in it. Like I'm not going to be carrying it, so it's a bit different. But um, yeah, man. I told her, fam, we're good. We got this. We're gonna work hard. She hasn't worked, by the way, for the whole pregnancy because I've got. Her. She doesn't need to work. She doesn't need to worry. But she's gonna start working soon. I think. But yeah, enough of that. Fab, I was happy from the moment on. Obviously, I knew that she was scared to tell her mum and stuff. Me, as soon as I found out, I rode, I literally left the work. I said, I'm coming back. And I went home, told my mum, my brother, my sister. And then I told my friends, my closest friends, who I see, who I grew up with, innit? Told them, you're gonna be auntie, uncle's blah, blah, blah. Then I came back to the work, yeah. And I, when I was sitting around the table, I started deep in it, I started crying. It wasn't crying like I was angry. I was crying tears of joy, innit? I was sitting there like this, crying, crying. And then the kids had the books in their hands, didn't they? They was covering their face because they could see that I was crying, yeah? And then they was like, oh, why are you crying? I was like, oh, it's nothing, nothing. He was smiling, in. Then the other adults in the room that helped, they was like, what happened, what happened? Then I told them, innit? They was like, oh, my days. They start running around, da, da, da. But yeah, fam, 
the whole thing for me, it was I told her with I was happy in it. Like I was happy. And me personally, the reason why I was so happy is because I knew her family. I knew her mum, brother, sister. You get what I'm saying? Like I wasn't really scared that oh what's gonna happen now because I knew that she's gonna support. Even my mum and that, they're good, she's gonna support and help us. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't a thing of where I'm gonna tell them and we're cooked. If it was cooked, then fam, it's a different story, but let me do this set. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh. Woo. Yeah, then we went, we found out we was good in it. And I think once she told her mum, she was happy. Then yeah, because deep yeah, people found out find out late in it. We literally found out as soon as she got pregnant, like two two weeks into the pregnancy. That's when we found out. We're basically halfway through now, and me I was gonna we was gonna decide to keep it private and not like say or nothing. But then I was deep in like I think like 10 to 15 weeks in. It was like we literally search on TikTok and see so much about people having kids and blah blah blah. I do YouTube, she posts TikTok. So I was thinking, fam, like what the hell is the point of keeping it so quiet? What are we hiding? What am I hiding? Do you get what I'm saying? What are we hiding? It's memories. We need to document this for when they see this and so on. Like I want to show people. Obviously, there's some things that's gonna remain private, which I think everyone should do that. If you want to keep things private, you can't. You don't need to tell no one. But me personally, I told her from the get-go, like, I think we should document it now and start showing. So we started posting last week on TikTok, she on Instagram and stuff and yeah you never know i might make a family channel you never know bro but fam i just can't wait now and like i'm so excited it's been a while but yeah i'm just so excited at least you can't wait everyone's happy i don't really know if you're if you're not happy you're with it it's that simple if you if you know us and you're not happy then you're tapped you're jealous or you're a hater or something if you know me and you're not happy, you're just crazy. Do you get what I'm saying? You deserve a punch, but I'm joking. But yeah, man, I don't know anyone that's not happy. So it's calm, innit? Yeah, it would have been better if we got married first and so on, but it's life. You can't do everything by the book. Sometimes it might slip up because I'm not going to sit here and say, oh yeah, we planned for this to happen, no. But it's happened now and I can't wait. We can't wait. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, it goes both ways, innit? Because you could turn around and say, imagine, imagine we waited for we got to get married and then we was like, okay, now let's wait until we've got more money. And then now let's wait until we've got a house. Fam, by the time it happens, we could be 60. You get what I'm saying? You don't know, you literally don't know, man. Plus another thing is, me personally, if I gave anyone advice, it's gonna sound crazy, but I would personally do it. Like, if young, like, don't, you wanna grow up with them as well. You get what I'm saying? I'm not saying do it very young and be stupid, no. But if, you're, if you know that you're with someone that you, you for life and you've got each other, fam, and you know you're going to get married and all of that, go for it, man. If you're over 20 something, yeah. And you work and you so on. But yeah, I can't wait. But let's get to this. One, I need to get strong for my child. I need to get strong. God damn it. Come on. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Like, fam, a lot of people would sit online and say, only show the good things. Like, we're not we're not arguing or nothing, but there's still things we need to work on. For example, we haven't moved out yet and so on. So that's what we're gonna struggle with. And to be honest, I can tell you, it's it's not the end of the world. Things happen. Do you get what I'm saying? Like there's no bad things, everything's literally going smooth. She's good, I'm good, she's healthy, she's fit, because before this, she was working out, I got her into exercise and so on. So it's like, yeah, it's happened. So we have to not accept it because I'm more happy. I'm more happy than um, just accepting it. That like, I can't wait, do you get what I'm saying? I feel like when it happens, no, before it happens, when you're talking about it, you're like, oh, I don't want no child yet. Yeah, but then when it's happened, you're like, you just can't wait. You get, I can't wait. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy, but at least you cannot wait. I cannot wait. I can't wait. They're going to do it. I can't wait. They're going to be a machine. 
Yeah, boy, girl, whatever. Doesn't matter. Equality. They can do everything. I'm joking. But yeah, man, what do you call it? And then another thing is people say like, oh, what do you want, boy or girl? Fam, the truth is, me personally, I believe everything is possible, innit? So if it's boy or girl, they can do whatever sport, whatever this, whatever that, to the highest level. I literally, I literally don't mind. You want them to be healthy, you're not really worried if it's a boy or girl. You get what I'm saying? And I don't really have a preference. I've, I've, tried, I've tried to think, what would I prefer? What would this? But I, I, I really don't care. Like, do you get what I'm saying? So a lot of people do care, but I really don't mind. Like, it's, I can't wait. I'm going to be happy either way. Like, do you get what I'm saying? But yeah, man, if you have any questions or whatever, ask me. I've done three exercises and I'm not cooked yet. I need my back to get cooked. So I'm going to do pullovers. No, I don't know what it's called. This one. Ugh. Ugh, that one. Let's do it. This one. Ugh. Wait, I need to feel the squeeze. Then I'll change the weight. There you go. Yeah. All right. Let's work. Let's work. Let's work. Let's work. Come on. Oh my dear. Guys, one thing I'm doing though. I'm coming to the gym a bit later, innit? Because obviously my gym has a closing time, um, 10.30. It's 9.04 right now, innit? But um, yeah, I come later because when I come too early, I try to do too many exercises and it's, it's, it just happens. Like if I come here at six, I'll be here, I will literally stay until it closes. There's nothing wrong with that, innit? Because you want to work out, da, 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 da. But it's like, I've, I'm just doing too much. Like I, it's family, you don't need to go and do a mat -ing. You can do a lot of sets and a lot of reps, whatever, but keep the exercises simple. You get what I'm saying? I don't need to stand here and do 25 different exercises or six different exercises. I could do deadlifts, rows, what I just did. Then I came down, did pull-ups. Now I'm doing these. And I could do, I'm not gonna lie, I wanna do a bit of my shoulders. But yeah, it's like, you don't need to come and do bare different exercises. It's, it, I'm not saying it's pointless, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my goodness, come on. Ten. Oh. Guys, I think the hardest thing throughout the whole of the process of like having a child and stuff. Fam, do you know how hard it is to think of a knee? No one talks about it. Everyone talks about everything else but the name. For me personally, well for us, the name is so hard. You can't think of a name. I cannot, I literally cannot think of, we can't think of a name. Obviously we don't know if it's a boy or girl yet, so we need to choose two names. But fam, it's so hard like, I have, we have no idea, we think we've mentioned like bare names, but it's, fam, it's so hard. You can't think of no name, man. Like, you can't. Seriously, you can't. But yeah, guys, I'm a bit tired, you know. I don't know why. I think it was them deadlifts. Because I told myself I'm going to start deadlifting again. I haven't deadlifted in ages, bro. Maybe since March or something. Something crazy. Wait, when did I do my hair for the first time? No, cut it. Cut it. It was March. It was March. I haven't deadlifted since March. Or February. February. The end of February. Yes. It's literally now September, the middle of September. I don't know why I stopped in. I just stopped, but I'm I, hey, I'm gonna get in shit, I'm gonna get fit, strong, blah 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 blah. Again, do you know what I'm saying? So that's one thing that I need to do. Start deadlifting. I'm gonna do some shoulder press now, dumbbell, and then I'm gonna do some delts rear delts and then I'm probably gonna just do some press ups or sorting. But yeah man. Guys I'm just so happy I'm having a child. I can't believe it like, It feels like when you're having a child it feels like a dream. Like it doesn't feel real. You're so happy that 
you don't know if you can be that happy. You get what I'm saying? Like, you don't know if, like, the happiness is real. You might think the happiness is that. It's, you're so happy that you're too happy for it to feel real. That's it. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it feels like you're going to wake up from the dream, but it's real life. It's real life, bro. This is real life, bro. I'm joking. But yeah, let's go and do some dumbbell press. Guys, I want the strongest shoulders ever. The most 3D looking shoulders. Like two balls in my shoulder. But we've got a while to go until that. Until then, we work hard. We work really hard. Come on. This is just a start, man. I've done two sessions of shoulder press. Because I never, I never in my life used to do them. Like, I never used to do this. I never knew it worked. But I knew it worked the shoulders, but I just never used to do. I used to do dark barbell press. But I like this one. So, yeah, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. this bit I have to be quiet but yeah I was in the sauna it was over there for 10 minutes then I was in the steam for another 10 minutes and um and my eyes red I can't see in it but I do it every time I come to the gym I try to do it at least three times a week in it because it's good for you innit everyone should be in the sauna literally if you're grinding get in there helps you lose weight clears your mind it's good bro it's good guys I'm at Tesco she wants, well, we both want noodles, but well, I don't know if I'm going to eat it, because I had so much to eat this. Wait. No, I had so much to eat, but I'm a bit full up. But fam, at least you know how to make gourmet noodles, like. Uh, follow a strict diet yeah. it's so hard to come to because tesco yeah look at all these desserts they have some nice food that i would have there's some things in here that i would eat but if i'm trying to be serious and get in shape i know i can't eat them do you get what i'm saying it's annoying but oh well Bro, I have this one. There's not 
Guys, it was nine pound eight. Not that deep. I mean, it's not that bad. It was not that expensive. I can't. Now, what am I doing? Okay, guys, this is the smoothest road here in London. I don't care because this was literally laid like a month ago. Looks like fam, it's so smooth. Like, look at it. All the way, all the way to the end of Brixton. It's literally so smooth. Kick down doors. Man, don't kick down yours. Free S9, free up the guys. Please come home. Go feed your kids, then come and beef. A broke, a neat. I forgot the word, shout out AM. Anyways, yeah. Guys, at first year, this pillow, I got it for her, innit? Because obviously, it's a pregnancy pillow, innit? But I'm telling you, it basically takes up the whole bed. Like, you would think it wouldn't, but... It usually takes up the whole bed. Fam, the bed is big as well. It's not no small bed, it's big. But this is like the Great Wall of China. Once it's in this, I can't even get close to it. I swear to you, I can't. It's just in the way. As soon as the pregnancy is finished, this is going in the bin. I don't care. We don't need it. 100. It's just big, like... Look at that. It's huge. Look at it. It's massive, like fam. It's huge. Like, look at my hand ain't small in it. But look, that like, is big fam. It's basically for your whole body. But yeah, man. And then on top of that, yeah, she wants one, two, and three pillows. It's fam. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I have to be quiet because her little sister's sleeping, in it. But yeah, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. This is the start of a new journey, a new chapter in my life. You're going to see her next video. We might talk. It might be something else. But yeah, man, I'm so happy. I can't wait. As of right now, in a bit.